A couple of months ago, the company Creality reached out to me and they said, hey, do you have any interest in reviewing a laser engraver slash laser cutter? And although I have absolutely no experience with anything like that, I was super excited to try this product out. All right, Nolan, do you know what we're about to open up? A laser beam. Are you gonna need that? Oh, you want this? Are you gonna need it? No, you can have it. <laughs> This too? <laughs> you can have that too. Is this how it charges? I think so. That was a uh. cool laser beam. Ah. Why don't you let me learn how to use this? And then before I use the laser beam for the first time, I'll call you back. Because I think it's going to take a long time for me to get this running. Start processing. That looks like a, a robot. It is a robot. Oh, and look at this. It's recording from inside. Now, because I'm an idiot, I thought that I could just open this box up and start laser engraving right here on this desk. This is smoking up my office. Now, this system comes with a small pump that says it has a filter on it. So I thought that was the air filter. That is not the air filter. I think it might be a cooling system for the laser itself. I did not install the exhaust pipe. I should have done that. If I had a garage, that would be perfect. I do not have a garage. I have a carport, but I feel like I might have to take this outside to finish this video. All right, guys, welcome to my professional laser engraving studio outside in my carport. I can make as much smoke as I want out here. Now, as I was using this, I was watching some very simple tutorials from Creality, and maybe for people who use products like this all the time, a lot of this stuff is obvious to you guys, I've never used anything like this before, and I felt like their tutorials were almost a little too simple, and they seemed to be overlooking some important steps. One thing that I found very frustrating at the beginning was that the camera wasn't correctly calibrated, and so everything that I was either burning or cutting wasn't exactly where I expected it to be. Over the next few days, I watched hours of tutorials from a range of different people, and their tutorials went very deep, and that was super helpful for me, who, who knows absolutely nothing about how any of this works. And I finally learned how to calibrate my camera, and then I started to realize just how impressive this product is, especially for somebody like me who's just getting into this. Now, as you can imagine, any laser beam capable of cutting through metal is probably a pretty dangerous thing, but it's even more dangerous than I thought because if your bare eyes looks directly at that laser, it can burn your retinas. Many other laser cutters on the market are just open air and you constantly have to remember to put on these safety goggles every time you use it. And so I love that this entire unit is coated in this safety film. So once it's closed up, you can still see what's happening, but it's safe for your eyes. These lasers can also cause fires, but this has a fire detection system and it also has an emergency shut off on the side. Something else that's super important is focusing the laser and you might focus it on one type of product, but then if you put something else in that's thicker, you're going to have to manually go in and raise the laser up to a certain height over that product. This engraver has autofocus built in. You just put a product that you want to engrave on it, and it moves over it, and it will find the exact right height. Now, as you can imagine, you can only engrave products that are so thick because this unit is only so thick, but if you wanted to engrave something much larger, you can actually remove the bottom of this entire machine and then place the machine on top of whatever you want to engrave. Something else that I never thought about before but makes total sense is that you have to change the speed of the laser, the power of the laser, and the number of times the laser beam is gonna go over that same path depending on what type of product you want to engrave or cut. All right, in this box here, we have pieces of colored acrylic. And then we have these uh, QR codes here. You set them in the engraver and the camera recognizes the QR code and will set every parameter you need for whatever this is made out of. Eventually, I moved the engraver back inside. I set it up near this window so that I could exhaust all the fumes outside. Now, if you're like me and you're not very crafty and creative, AI has made things a heck of a lot easier. You can go into Gemini or ChatGPT, and you can create images of anything you want. Just tell these AI systems that you wanna create a pure black and white vector style image of XYZ, whatever you want. You can also drop a normal photograph in there and say, create a line drawing of this. And then you can easily drop that file into the engraver. 
I think just a couple of years ago, you would have to do a lot of this stuff manually. You would literally have to go in and draw what you wanted to create. Not anymore. Now, I've been cutting and engraving for days now, and I've been having a lot of fun. But in the back of my mind, I've been thinking, you know, you're not a really crafty person, Lee. You can only make so many Christmas ornaments. What are you going to do with this long term? And to be honest, I'm still not quite sure that I figured that out yet. But the one thing that kind of changed my perception on this entire product was when I put a piece of paper inside of it. I just assumed that the laser beam would just light it on fire, but there was a paper option in the menu. So I thought, ah, let's see what happens. And this thing cuts paper with incredible precision. One thing that comes to mind right off the bat is I have purchased stickers for different companies I've had over the years, and I've always had to go to some specialized company to do it. I can print stickers at home now and cut them out perfectly with this machine. I don't know that I want to get into the sticker making business, but it's just wild that I have this technology in my house that's capable of doing this. Now, one of the first things that came to mind when I opened this engraver up was my hot sauce business, Olivium. I sell these fancy bottles of hot sauce and I thought, oh, it would be so cool if I could engrave these bottles. I looked into it and you can do this, but it requires a separate add-on that turns the bottle as it is engraving. And that makes total sense because that laser beam has to be the exact same height over the product that it's burning into. And so this bottle is not flat, obviously. So when you attach it to this other device, the laser beam stays in place while the bottle spins. This is definitely something that I wanna try later on. The software is fairly intuitive, especially on the iPhone, but moving things around with your finger can be a little glitchy. When I downloaded the real software on my laptop, I found that a lot easier to work with. The software works kind of like Photoshop's layer system, and you can create different shapes and put them on different layers and then tell the machine to do different things for each layer. So for example, if you wanted to engrave something, you would put that on layer one, and then if you wanted to cut that thing out, you would create a circle and put that on layer two. The other thing that helped me learn how to do all of this was Google Gemini. I use their video and voice feature and I would just show the AI what I was working on and ask it a question and it would tell me and show me exactly what to do. This video that you're about to see is completely real. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can still hear you. Is everything going okay with the cutter? Yeah, can you show me? I've got this PNG file here of this logo and it's giving me the option to engrave it. How do I trace it so that I can actually cut it out? To get the cut path, you'll need to use the trace image tool. It's on the toolbar at the top near the center. Right here? That's the one. Click trace image and it will open up the tracing window so you can create the cut path. And when I move these, nothing happens. It might be tough to see the preview without contrasting colors. Try adjusting the threshold slider again to see if that brings in the details. Oh yeah, that's it. Perfect. Now you can click confirm. Okay. I'll hide that layer. And now I've got just this. Perfect. And I need that's to the set cut path. this to mm -hmm. line cutting, right? Yep, that's right. Make sure to select line cutting to get the right settings. And I'm going to set my material to craft paper, even though I've just got computer paper in there. And uh, am I ready to hit start? Yep, looks like you're all set. Go ahead and click start. So my paper already has some mistake in it, but yeah, we're going above it. I see that. It looks like it's cutting around it now. Do you know what this logo is for? F-Stoppers is a well-known photography and videography website providing reviews, tutorials, and news. Are you blown away by that like I am? I just can't believe this is real now. You basically have an expert with you at all times, no matter what you're doing, and they will walk you through anything you wanna do or anything you wanna learn. 
In a few months, I bet this AI is just going to be doing it for us. I'll say, hey, Jim and I, can you go online, find the F-Stoppers logo, create a vector image of it, cut it out, and I'm gonna put paper into this laser engraver here. Go ahead, set all the settings correctly and hit print for me, it's ready to go and it's done. So exciting, so, so scary. If you ask me to guess, how much does this product cost? I would think like five or $10,000. I mean, this seems like such insane sci-fi stuff. I just can't imagine the average person being able to afford something like this. It's only $1,100. And again, I don't know anything about laser engraving. Maybe that price is high in the grand scheme of things, but that is mind-blowingly low to me for just how incredible this product is. And I don't know all the differences, but the A1, the non-pro version, is half the price. It's only $549. So if you're in the market for a laser cutter and engraver and you've not done anything like this before and you're wondering, is this too complicated? Am I capable of doing this? The answer is absolutely you can do this. You probably need to watch more tutorials than what Creality gives you. But once you do watch just a few hours of experts using this thing, it's actually way easier to use than I expected. So I've used the Falcon A1 quite a bit now, but I am still far from an expert. I have so much more to learn. But I think this whole review has given me the confidence that maybe I should start dipping my toe into 3D printing. That might be next. Do you like the laser engraver? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite part about it? Making the pictures on the wood. Okay. <laughs>